Francis Pedia. Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be quickly talking about how to make a meta creator or developer badge. Um, super easy to do. Um, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe button. It means so much to me. We're almost at 55,000, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so we have a lot of tutorials coming, don't you worry. Um, but this tutorial is just gonna be very simple. Um, I do have it in the description, the link. So if you wanna grab that, you can. Um, but I mean, you don't really need it. Um, you can actually just make this quickly. So um, it's right here for you. But yeah, I'm going to go through and explain this for you. Now, I just talked about welcome badge. Um, you can also just uh, merge these together if you'd like. Super easy to do. Um, but I'm going to go through this for you. So you got to create a script in server script service. I have a folder called badges if you'd like or prefer. Um, and when you do that, you can just uh, put the script in here. And um, of course, by doing that, you click this button by adding the object in the script. Um, and you're just gonna be blank for you, but you can copy this down. But local badge service, so you gotta grab this service because um, you know, you're know doing badges here. Um, and then we're gonna have a few things, okay? So we're gonna have the ID, which is gonna be the badge ID, which I'll talk about in a second. We're gonna have the owner ID, and then we're gonna have an is in game uh, debounce. Um, but basically, how this works is uh, when the player joins a game, um, we're gonna define player as a variable going to check if the user ID is equal to the owner ID. So if you're the owner of the game um, and if it's in game, then we know and we set that debounce to true. Um, and then we uh, go through a loop, um, a for loop, and we get all the players in the game and we go and get their user ID and award them the badge, basically saying that the owners in the game, you're going to get the badge. Um, then we do another one else. If, uh, if they're in the game, then we award it. Uh, this is just so, um, new players during the game and stuff like that. Um, we don't need to declare again, this variable R to be changed and we can just give that to them. Um, but then of course this players that player removing, uh, basically what's happening here is we're checking which players leave the game. And if the player dot user ID equals owner ID. So if it's the owner that leaves, we're going to set this to false. And then no longer we are going to give people the badge if they're joining the game, things like that. Um, so super simple actually now creating an ID, creating a badge is also very simple. Um, if you want to do this, you're just going to go to the game settings. You're going to go to monetization, uh, and you're just going to hit create right here. It's going to take you to this page, which I already talked about. Um, so once you find your game or whatever, uh, you're going to go to the bottom left ish and you're going to go to the badges and engagement. You're going to hit create a badge. Um, I kind of talked about this already. You can do uh, met owner badge, uh, Roblox, and you can just like find one if you want. So, you know, let's see. So meet the owner um that's cool but um no we're gonna go with like i love this one simple yeah perfect so you can just save this image uh owner <laughs> and then you can just upload image and um you can basically uh, grab this and basically say met the owner badge and then met the owner no you can do met the owner and then you met uh, some place, I guess you can say. And then um, badge is enabled, great badge. Now you can just copy this, copy asset ID. You're good to just close out of that. And then of course, uh, if you refresh this, it should be right there for you. Um, no need to save anything, it's already made. Go to the badge, put that ID right there and you're kind of done, but almost, we have one more thing to do. So you need to go to your profile on Roblox and it's going to be this little uh, link right here. It's going to look like this. I'm just going to do this for you guys so you can see. It's going to be this little link right here, okay? So grab this user ID by just clicking your profile, go to the link, and it's just going to be this little uh, this ID right here, okay? Once you guys get that, then um, you're going to just copy and paste that in here, and you're good. You're done. Um, so, yeah, you can just close the scripts and uh, publish the Roblox, and your game is ready for people who join it etc things like that um super super simple stuff you guys hope you enjoyed the tiny little tutorial but um yeah i will see you guys in the next tutorial